we're going to try to show you how to set up uh, at least a DMZ. We may get into the doing the NAT, but uh, DMZ is the easiest one. It seems to be a lot of problems, especially with Black Ops right now, where people's NAT types are strict. So we want to make sure we eliminate uh, your hardware. So you're all familiar with the XMB. And so we need to go to the settings section. Go under network settings. And under internet connection settings. And to do a DMZ, you pretty much, or NAT really, you, you want to make a static uh, IP address. Uh, so we're going to select custom. Select the setting message, let's select custom. Mine's wired. If yours is wireless, then you're going to do wireless. But either or, you, it's kind of self explanatory, wired or wireless. But Instead of auto detect, we're going to go to manual settings, and then there's speed and duplex. We're going to do auto detect. IP address setting, we're going to select manual. A lot of people leave this one automatic, but we're going to select manual. And in here, <coughs> I automatically set my IP address to 192.168.1. I've selected 124. You can select anywhere from one or from two to two, oh, 254. Smile. It's a text message. And uh, make sure your subnet's uh, the same as what you're what's on your uh, uh, network. And then my default router, my primary DNS, I set up to what my router's IP address is, which most people's is 192.168.1.1. Some of them are 192.168.0.1, but most of them are 192.168.1.1. So then I've set that, and now it's always going to be that. My PS3 is always going to be 124 by doing this manually. MTU, leave it automatic. Proxy server, do not use. UPnP, most everybody has a universal plug and play, so leave that enabled. And you can test it if you want, but I know it works, so. We'll say X, save it. And then, we need to go to our computer. We're going to log into our router. Okay, and you can use a browser. Up in your browser, you wipe that smile off your face, or I'll do it for you. You type in your router's IP address: one nine two dot. 168.1.1 up here and then hit return it's going to ask you your password this is where you're going to need to know your password and your username uh, most of them are either if you haven't messed with this before it's either admin 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 password or admin 1234 or this is blank and it's password or 1234 or admin uh, check your user manual or you can look online and find the uh, default. I've changed mine, of course. So now I'm in my router. This is a Netgear router. And there's port forwarding right here, which is how I have mine set up. See, you can sit in here and say add, or no, add to service. Add custom service, and what I did is I just named it PS3 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I'm going to start port is 2005. All the ports that is necessary, which I'll show you in my post on the website. And my IP address is all 124s. So I have all these ports, port, uh, port forwarded, port triggered. That's one way of doing it. That's the way I prefer to do it. But there's also the DMZ, and I need to, there it is. Okay, under the Netgear, 
it's under the WAN setup. Some of them will be under the firewall tab. It depends on your router. But you need to find where it says DMZ. So I can set that and then type in 192.168.1. And then what I set in here on the on the uh, PS3 was 124, where you can name it 111 or 222 or 10, 11, 12, whatever. And uh, once you set it to do a DMZ to that IP address, you hit apply. And what that'll do is open all your ports to your PS3 at that IP address. And uh, that's the easiest way to do it if you're not familiar with doing port forwarding, where I forwarded all the ports, triggered them uh, for each one that I'm going to need for the list. That's all there is to it. So once you do that, on your router, and you've gone through this, where let's check it again, just to show you again. <coughs> Don't use easy, use custom. We'll go wireless this time, doesn't matter. And you can enter manually or scan for the WLAN. Scan will find your... I already know what it is. Oh, no, it's calling up the... It's calling HH Honors. That's what the... Uh, when I'm at the Hilton, that's what they use. But uh, you put the SID of your router, what you call your network, on the uh, wireless. And then you have to enter your password for whatever the wireless is. And then you go to the same thing where you do the manual. You set it at 124 and then your IP uh, of your router for your uh, your default router and your primary DNS. Your subnet mask, most of them is 255, 255, 255, 0. And you just basically cycle through the rest of them and you're done. I'm going to hit cancel because I leave mine wired. Now, if you're not sure what your subnet mask is, uh, let me show you that real quick. You go to your start menu and you can either find the command prompt here or you can type in CMD. There it is, right turn. All right here. Um, all you gotta do is type in IP config. And then when you scroll up, you'll see your subnet mask is 255, My computer's IP address is that 104. My default gateway is 11, which is my router. So that's how you can find it. Just type in uh, IP config and it'll show you that stuff. So hopefully this helps you guys and we get uh, everybody to have our ports open so we know we'll have a NAT type of open when we play Black Ops. I hope this helps a lot of you.